Hello everyone, it's Katie here, and I'm going to teach you how to do a simple hyacinth flower on this natural shadow stone. The shadow stone is beautiful, so I didn't want to cover it up and put a background in. So I just sketched in a, a real easy like cone shape just to kind of give me an idea of where I was going to put the flower and a couple of long leaves. And so now I'm taking dioxazine purple and I'm mixing a little bit of white with it and a lot of water. And I'm just kind of dabbing it in. A little bit of purple, a little bit of white, a little more purple. And uh, just so there's a bunch of different tones in there. And I'm keeping that cone shape going. The, the flowers always kind of hang to either side because they're he a heavy flower. So I did put that a little bit to the left. Now I'm doing some chalk paint in the leaves. So that I don't have to put a whole bunch of layers of green to get the green to show up. And this is by Folk Art. And it's just the white chalk paint. And I'm letting that dry. Now right here I'm showing you my leftover purple I used on my daffodil rock. Which I didn't make a video of the daffodil rock. But um, I try to use up what paint I have. Now I'm using an angelic Signo gel pen and I'm just drawing in some basic five petal flowers and um, in between the big flowers I'm putting little petals like two at a time or three at a time sometimes four and I'm just trying to to just fill in the whole uh, flower. These angelic Signo gel pens are awesome. Now I'm putting dots. I mix dioxazine purple with some pouring medium by Liquitex Basics or Liquitex and um, thinned it out a bit. And then I'm just putting dots in the middle of all the big flowers. Now I'm going to lighten that paint up. And I'm going to put a little bit lighter, like a lavender color, um, inside the petals of the little flowers. And there is no rhyme or reason to this. You can just kind of do it quickly and here and there, and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is this is kind of a an easier version of, of, of a hyacinth. Uh, they are difficult to paint when you try to do a regular one and and so I came up with this version so I added in a couple little uh, more flowers and now I'm just going in and adding some more color to the petals and uh, like I said you don't have to be perfect with any of the flowers or anything just um just fill up the little space of the purple with your little white flowers and your little extra petals and it'll look really pretty now i'm getting those extra flowers i just put in i'm getting the dots on them and now i'm going to add the light purple to the petals So it's starting to look pretty cool. Now we're going to start on green. And I'm using, I start off with um, a light green and then like a yellow green. And, um, but then I'm going to bring in some uh, hooker's green. And it's a little bit darker and I'm going to darken that, that stem to the flower. And then I'm also going to pull some in on the leaves. And kind of fade it in with a scruffy brush just on the sides just to give the leaves some definition some interest so it doesn't look just like a flat leaf and that's really all there is to this little flower i hope this helps you draw a draw a hyacinth flower um thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to see a bunch of these flowers floating around Y'all have an absolutely great day. Thank you.